That final session will begin this evening at 5 p.m. local time. First event here on day number two will be the women's 100 freestyle. We have 10 heats in this event. We're set now for heat one, women's 100 freestyle. Ten heats in this women's 100 freestyle. We'll tell you the Olympic trials qualifying standard for the trials next year in Indianapolis is a 55-79. Top time in our opening heat will be a 58-11. Cornelia Fox in lane five. Heat two. All six swimmers here in heat number two entered with yards times. They'll post a long course time here this morning. And the winning time in the heat will be a 57.75 for Chloe Isleta from Sun Devil Swimming in lane seven. E3. Into the finish here for heat number three, the top time in the women's 100 freestyle heat number three, a 57-50 Molly Bachelor in lane number two from Sun Devil Swimming. Heat four.
We're winning time in heat number four it will be lane seven. Noel Harvey at 57.68 for Cougar Aquatics. Heat five. Winning time in the heat, a 56-56 in lane number seven for Gizem Guvnik from UCLA, winning heat number five of the 100 freestyle. Heat six. Lane four is Letitia Lay Transom. As they come to the wall, it'll be close to the touch. It is Transom, though, at 57.04, just ahead of Lizzie Cook at 57.15. Heat seven. Field coming back on Jillian Crooks on this final 25. Crooks though slightly in front as they head to the finish in heat number seven. Top time, a 56-92, a tie. Carla Gonzalez in two and Jillian Crooks in six. Both at 56-92. Brooks Schaefer was third from seven at 57-04.
Heat eight. First of our circle seated heats now, featuring the top 24 entries into the 100 freestyle event. Leading the way here, Olivia Smaliga in lane number four. She comes in as the third fastest entry in this 100 freestyle. Olympic gold medalist back in 2016 on the 4x100 medley relay. She won bronze in Tokyo on the 4x100 freestyle relay for Team USA. And she's got a body length on the field and will win heat number eight. Smaliga touching in a final time of 54.90. Fastest time with two heats remaining in this 100 freestyle. Second was Kayla Wilson and third Lily Nordman. Heat nine. Twenty-five five to her feet for Abby Weitzel leading the way in heat number nine. Weitzel also a Olympic gold medalist from 2016 on the 4x100 medley relay. Next to her, Simone Manuel, the Olympic champion in the 100 freestyle from the Rio 2016 Olympic Games and the 2017 and 2019 world champion in the 100 freestyle. But it'll be Abby Weitzel touching the wall first, final time of 53-71. To win heat number nine of the 100 freestyle. Heat 10. Final heat now in the women's 100 freestyle. Your top seed in lane four is Tori Husk. Husk, the 2022 world champion in the 100 butterfly. She had a great meet last June in Budapest, also winning three other gold medals and a bronze in the 100 freestyle event. Husk turns first ahead of Claire Curzan. Sarah Fournier of Equipe Quebec is currently third from lane six. Fournier fighting back from six as they come to the wall, winning time in our final heat will be Sarah Fournier of Equipe Quebec at 55-28. Second to Claire Curzan and third Tori Husk at 55-3-0 and 55-31. In just a moment, we will have our summary for the women's 100 freestyle, showing you your finalists.
There's your A finalist on the board. Abby Weitzel leads the way ahead of Olivia Smaliga, Simone Manuel, Sarah Fournier, Claire Curzan, Tori Husk, Chloe Stepanek, and Kelly Pash, your top eight qualifying into the A final. B finalists next on the board, led by Kayla Wilson, Lily Nordman, Caroline Larson, Amy Tang, Justina Kozan, Eloise Riley, Gizem Guvnik, and Athena Menzes Kovacs. Next up, we have your C finalists, led by Roxanne Lemieux, Carla Gonzalez, and Jillian Crooks, tied at 18th, Brooke Schaefer, Leticia Le Transom, tied at 20th, Isabel Stadden, and then Lizzie Cook and Emily Gantris tied at 23rd into the C final of the 100 free. Your alternates are Ellen Mazurik and McKenna De Beaver. Coaches, the time is 9.16. You have 30 minutes to declare in the 100 freestyle. Next up, we have our men's 100 freestyle event. There are a total of 11 heats in this event. Let's get underway with heat one. Winning time in the heat, 53-57 for Evan Holt in lane number three. Heat two. On the outside, both lanes one and eight to the wall, it's gonna be lane number eight in 50.69 for Tim Crostange in lane number eight, winning heat number two. Heat three. Good second 50 in lane number three, top time of 51.65 for Quinn Sider 
winning heat three of the men's 100 free. Heat four. Twenty-four six on the first fifty in lane number three for Hunter Chalonik of uh, Mission Viejo Natadors. Hunter's entering a time of fifty-one ninety-eight and having a good swim here this morning in heat number four. Selhanek's going to win in a final time of fifty-one forty-two, improving on his entry time by a half second to win heat number four in the men's one hundred freestyle. Heat five. Andrew Jin of the Bellevue Club in lane number four, leading the way under the flags. And he will touch final time of 51-71, winning heat number five. Heat six. On the outside in lane eight for Cooper Lucas of Lakeside Aquatic Club, touching in 51-01, winning the heat. Heat seven.
Out first in lane number four is Ryan Murphy at 24-4-0. Murphy, a four-time Olympic gold medalist, including gold in the 100 and 200 backstroke back in 2016 in Rio. He was also on the podium in those events in Tokyo, winning silver in the 200 and bronze in the 100 backstroke. And he leads the way here in heat number seven. We'll touch the wall. Final time for Murphy, 50.06. Heat eight. Jonathan Kulo of Sun Devils in lane six who will touch final time of him 49.35. First summer under the 50 second mark here this morning at 49.35. That also drops him by almost a second off his entry time and under the Olympic trials qualifying standard at 49.99. Heat nine. Now into our circle seated heats for the 100 freestyle. Hunter Armstrong in lane four for the New York Athletic Club, the world record holder in the 50 backstroke. But it is Yusuf Ramadan out first in lane number three at 23.80. Strong swim for Ramadan in lane three as he's ahead by half body length and will touch the wall to win heat number nine, final time of 49.34. One 100th ahead of the time done in the previous heat by Kulo. Heat 10. Bjorn Seeliger of Cal in lane number four leading the way. He represents Sweden internationally and was the European junior champion in the 50 freestyle back in 2018. Seeliger has the lead to the finish and will touch the wall final time of 49.54. Just ahead of Destin Lasko at 49.72 and Brett Pinfold third at 50.18. Heat 11.
Jack Alexi in front at the 50 from lane three. Tied there actually with Justin Rest from lane five. 23-49, they were one one-hundredth ahead of Ryan Held in four. <coughs> Held the fastest entry into the event. Pulling into the front here on the back half and will touch final time for Ryan Held, 49-31. Winning time in our final heat, Jack Alexi was second, 49-38. And third at 49-6-0, Justin Ress in five. We'll have your summary of the men's 100 freestyle in just a moment, showing your top eight finalists. Men's 100 freestyle will be led into the A final by Ryan Held of the New York Athletic Club. Also into the final will be Yosef Ramadan, Jonathan Kulo, Jack Alexi, Bjorn Seeliger, Justin Rest, Destin Lasko, and Hunter Armstrong. Your B finalists led by a time of 49.92 for Robin Hansen. Also into the B final, Ryan Murphy, Jack Dolan, Maximus Williamson, Charlie Hawk, Brett Pinfold, Luke Maurer, and Gabriel Jett. Your C finalists, Michael Cotter, Keaton Jones, Quentin McCarty, Andreas Cabrera, Matthew Jensen, Alexander Skinner, Grant House, and Avery Voss. Your alternates will be Jack Dahlgren and Santo Condorelli. Coaches, the time is 9.32. You have 30 minutes to declare in the 100 freestyle. Our next event will be the women's 100 breaststroke. There are seven heats in this preliminary event. Heat one. Winning time in our opening heat of the 100 freestyle, Alicia Henry at 111.38. Heat two. Reminder, coaches and swimmers, time trial entries are available at the time trial desk. This is the second of seven heats in the 100 breaststroke. Olympic trial standard in this event, a 110.29.
Fastest time posted here in heat number two, a 112.72 for Sophia Sergerson. From lane number seven, just ahead of Margot McDonald from lane number eight at 112.75. Heat three. One twelve sixty eight. Zoe Sumar in lane number seven, winning heat three. Heat four. Close race to the finish in heat number four of the 100 breaststroke. And the top time will be in lane number two, a 111.70. Madeline Phillips of Mission Viejo Natadors getting under that 112 mark and winning the heat. Heat five.
Diana Petkova, the University of Alabama, comes in as the third fastest entry in the 100 breaststroke at 108.06. Skylar Smith in front at the 50, though, in lane number three at 32.51. Petkova is second ahead of Isabel Odgers, currently third from five. Good close race to the finish, and it's going to be Skylar Smith, 109.40, getting her hand on the wall first ahead of uh, Diana Petkova at 109.68, and Isabel Odgers third from lane five at Heat six. Trojan Swim Club's Caitlin Dobler in lane four. Dobler comes in, entered in a time of 106.19. And she's going to touch the wall to win our penultimate heat, heat number six at 108.56. Out of lane four, second was Anna Adam in lane number three, 110.44. And third, Rhea Malott in five, 110.51. Heat seven. Final heat underway in the women's 100 breaststroke featuring our top entry in lane number four, Lily King of the Indiana Swim Club, the current world and American record holder in a time of 104.13. She also holds the pro swim record set in 2021 at 105.32. King out first at 32.17. She was the Olympic champion back in 2016 in this event. Piper Angie of Bellevue Club hanging tough in lane number five. King though well in front now, about a half body length lead as she heads to the wall. And winning the final heat will be Lily King, 107.85 in the 100 breaststroke. Piper Angie is second at 108.81. Third in the heat to Alicia Wilson, 110.67.
We'll have a summary of that event in just a moment for the women's 100 breaststroke. Summary on the board now for the women's 100 breaststroke. Your top seed is Lily King at that 107.85 ahead of Caitlin Dobler, Piper Angie, Skylar Smith, Diana Petkova, Isabel Odgers, Anna Adam, and Rhea Melot makes it back for the Crow Canyon Sharks at 110.51. Your B finalists led by Alicia Wilson, Caroline Bricker, Alicia Henry, Tess Chipluha, Madeline Phillips, Avery Collins, Jillian Tu, and Georgina McCarthy from New Zealand at 112.41. C finalists, Zoe Summer, Lucy Bell, Sophia Segerson, Melissa Cowan, Margot McDonald, Caitlin Wynn, Gracie Kehoe, and Kelsey Vasikowski at 113.23. Your alternates are Giovanna Balducci and Annika McEnroe. And the coaches, the time is 9.47. You have 30 minutes to declare in the women's 100 breaststroke. Our next event, the men's 100 breaststroke, features eight heats, heat one. For the information of coaches and athletes, the time trial desk will close at 10.45. That's 10.45 closure for time trials. Opening heat winner, 105.17, Ellie Hobson from Pikes Peak Athletics to win heat number one of the men's 100 breaststroke. Heat two. One hundred three eighty one from lane seven. Texas A and M University is Anse Ferenc Arison winning heat number two. Heat three.
29-89 on the first 50 in lane number eight for Daniel Listort. Listor entered in a time of 106.50. And a big drop here, 104.72 for Daniel Listor of the Petty Aquatic, Aquatic Association, winning heat number three. Heat four. Alonso Santos in lane six will touch the wall final time. 106.06 to win heat four of the 100 breast. Heat five. Noah Kakir from the Team Suffolk will touch the wall final time for him of 103.70, improving on his entry time by almost a full second in the 100 breaststroke. Diego Resto was second at 104.70. Daniel Burlitz third, 104.96 from one. Heat six.
Jake Foster in front. Foster from the Mason Manta Rays entered in 103-14. That Olympic trials cut once again as a 102-19 in the 100 breaststroke. And Foster will touch 101-34. Good swim there for Jake Foster under the Olympic trials standard in the 100 breaststroke. Heat seven. Great racing so far here this morning at the Tier Pro Swim Series. Brandon Fisher in lane five has the lead just ahead of Jason Lauser. And also there is lane number seven as there is a top time of 101.80 for Fisher winning the heat. Second was Jason Lauser, 102.30 and third to Andy Dabrzanski at 102.45 out of lane seven. <laughs> Heat eight. Leading the way here at the 50 will be Nick Fink in lane four, 28.85. Fink was a bronze medalist in this event last June in the World Championships. He won gold in the 50 breaststroke at those World Champs. And Fink, 101.68 winning time in the final heat ahead of Luke Rodarte of Cal at 102.19 third to Montsef Balamain at 104.24 out of lane six. We'll have a summary for the men's 100 breaststroke in just a moment. Your A finalists for tonight's 100 breaststroke led by Jake Foster, 101.34, ahead of Nick Fink, Brandon Fisher, Luke Rodarte, Jason Lauser, Andy Dubrzanski, Ethan Dang, and Luke Barr, your top eight at 103.54. The B finalists led by Team Fo Suffolk's Noah Kakir, Anze Ferenc Erzin, Michael Gorgon, Zier Fan, Monsef Balamain, Tom Higdon, Yosef El Kamash, Baylor Nelson into the B final for Texas A&M at 104.35. C finalists, Jacob Sutherland, Ryan Foote, Diego Resto, 
Daniel Listor, Ryan Purdy, Sean Swift, Daniel Berlitz, and Jake Eccleston from Fort Collins at 105-10. Your alternates are Eli Hobson and Connor Brown. Coach's time is 10.02. You have 30 minutes to declare in the 100 breaststroke. Our next event will be the women's 50 backstroke. There are eight heats in this event. Our next event will be the women's 50 backstroke. There are eight heats in this event. Heat one. Thirty point two eight winning time in lane number four for Isabella Riley from California Aquatics. Heat two. Winning time in our second heat be Ryan White, 28-09 for White out of lane number two. Fastest time of the first two heats for Ryan White of the University of Alabama.
Heat three. Thirty point three six. Jessica Davis in lane number two. Back-to-back -back wins for lane two in this fifty backstroke. Davis wins heat three. Heat four. On the outside is Tori Husk, 29-04 from lane number eight, winning heat number four of the 50 backstroke. Heat five. Winning time, Katie Drum, 3105 out of lane six in the 50 back. Heat six. Good race here in heat number six. They come to the walls. Isabel Stad in a 28 33. Touching to win heat number six. Second was Athena Menzies Kovacs at 29 59 on a 30.15 for Emma Karam in five. Heat seven.
Claire Curzan in four. Second fastest entry into the event. And we'll touch in 28.65. Winning time for Heat 7. Heat 8. Twenty nineteen world champion in the fifty backstroke, Olivia Smaliga in lane number four of our final heat. And she will touch in twenty eight eighty eight to win heat number eight of the women's fifty back. Amy Tang was second in twenty nine forty two and third twenty nine forty five. Janelle Rudolph in three. We'll have a summary in just a moment for that women's 50 backstroke. Top time for the women's 50 backstroke was at 28.09 from heat number two of University of Alabama's Ryan White. Also into the A final, Isabel Stadden, Clara Curzan. Olivia Smaliga, Tori Husk, Amy Tang, Janelle Rudolph, and Olivia Peebles of New Zealand at 29.54. Your B finalists led by Athena Menzies Kovacs, Caitlin Schroeder, Sophia Sun Wu, McKenna De Beaver, Cornelia Fox, Elizabeth Sowards, Emma Karam, and Carla Gonzalez are tied for 15th at 30.15. Your C finalists, Alex Roberts, Isabella Riley, Noelle Harvey, Ella Busquitz, Jessica Davis, Molly Shivan, Jillian Crooks and Grayson Aquino at 30.51 from Mission Viejo. Your alternates are Taylor McCoy and Natalie Mannion. Coaches, the time is 10.15. You have 30 minutes to declare in the women's 50 backstroke. Our next event will be the men's 50 backstroke. There are five heats in this event. Heat one. Quinton McCarty at 26.05 wins Heat 1. Heat 2.
25-64, Jack Dolan. Winning heat number two from lane two in the 50 backstroke. Heat three. Winning time in heat number three, Hugo Gonzalez at 25.54 for California Aquatics. Lamar Taylor was second, 26 flat. And third, Doric Tekken in lane number one, 26.74. Heat four. Justin Rest in lane four from Mission Viejo Natador is the gold medalist at the World Championships last year in this event. He was also the gold medalist at the World University Games back in 2019 in the 50 backstroke. And Justin Rest will touch the wall final time here of 25-19, winning time in heat four. Jack Hendy was second at 26-73 and third. Loic Corville Fontaine at 27-1-0. Heat five. Final heat in the 50 backstroke, Hunter Armstrong in lane four, the current World American US Open and Pro Swim record holder in this event. Armstrong will touch the wall, final time 25-36. Winning time in heat five. We'll have a summary in just a moment for the men's 50 backstroke. The next event following the summary will be the women's 200 butterfly, where we will have four heats being contested. Your A finalists now in the men's 50 backstroke, led by Justin Ress at 25-19, ahead of Hunter Armstrong, Hugo Gonzalez, Jack Dolan, Keaton Jones, Lamar Taylor, Quentin McCarty and Brett Pinfold at 26.45. Your B finalists, Jack Hendry, Doric Tekken, Hayden Kwan, Justin Helms, Himes, Jack Berube, Cooper Morley, Loic Corville Fortin, and Rami El Gaharzi at 27.12. Your C finalists, Aaron Sequier, Jake McCoy, Aaron Mendoza, Brandon Miller, Brendan Connors, Jonathan Michaels, Diggory Dillingham, and Jackson Schuster at 28-21. Your alternates are Yigit Saglam, 
and Abdel Black. 10.23 is the time, coaches. You have 30 minutes to declare in the 50 backstroke. Our next event will be the Women's 200 Butterfly. There are four heats in this event. Heat one. Mia Avancino leads the way in lane number three. Jean-Vierre Sassville of Trojans there as well as the field tightens up on this final 50. Two nineteen thirty one. Langley Olympians, Layla Fock charges home to win the first heat of the women's 200 butterfly. Genevieve Sassville was second and third, Mia Avancino. Heat two. Lily Nordman leads the way at the 100, 103, 97. Lizzie Cook currently in second up in lane three.
strong swim for Kelly Pash, well in front of the field as she heads to the finish here in heat number three. And we'll touch final time of 210.55. Heat four. Dakota Luther in front, 103.16. Bailey Hartman in second, 104.28. Hartman and Lucy Bell there tied for second, actually, at 104.28 at the 100. Dakota Luther going to lead from start to finish in heat number four. Final time of 2.11.26. Second in the heat will be Bailey Hartman, 2.14.63. And third, Lucy Bell, 2.14.75 in lane five. We will have a summary in just a moment for that women's 200 butterfly. Summary for the Women's 200 Butterfly, your top seed will be Kelly Pash at 210.55 ahead of her teammate from Longhorn Aquatics, Dakota Luther. Also into the A final, Rachel Klinker, Bailey Hartman, Lucy Bell, Lily Nordman, Lizzie Cook, and Caroline Bricker at 215.40. B finalists, Claire Watson at 216.09, Jade Fulska, Alex Massey, Olivia Thiel, Sophia Duncan, Leila Fock, Ashlyn Fiorelli, and Ava Topoluski at 220.29. Your C finalist, Abby O'Sullivan, Genevieve Sasville, Mia Avancino, Ella Flowers, Amelia Mason, Katie Higgins, Samantha Cummins, and Davina Huang at 222.81. Your alternates are Kaylee Chow and Sophia Segerson. Coaches, the time is 10.35. You have 30 minutes to declare in the women's 200 butterfly. Our next event, the men's 200 butterfly. There are six heats in this event, heat one.
John Drum into the final 50 and he number one leading the way at 133.45 ahead of Aiden Scott. Two oh seven fifty eight John Drum winning heat number one. Heat two. Campbell McKean in front from four, turning in 58-73. Carson Hamblin is second and six. Coaches and swimmers, last call for time trial entries, closing in five minutes. Campbell McKean will hold on to touch first in a time of 205.01, just ahead of Carson Hamlin, who's closing fast, 205.22. And third was Ricardo Osio at 209.42 up in lane seven. E3.
Colin Quickstad in lane number seven. Touch in 204 64. Strong back half for Quickstad as he wins the heat. Second at 206 16 for Jed Michael Jones. And third, Max Hatcher, 206 87. Heat four. Yaziel Morales in lane seven, 128.63. Morales from Team Puerto Rico leading the way. He's entered in 201.93 in this event. Sterling Crane in lane four and Jose Martinez trying to close the gap on this final 50. It'll be Yuzio Morales leading from the start to finish in 200.30. Winning heat number four, second was Jose Martinez, 201.08, and third, Sterling Crane, 201.93. Heat five. Would Darian Townsend please report to the meat operations tents, the red tents at the start end. That's Darian Townsend, please, to the meat operations tents. Red tier tents at the start end, please. Thank you. Gabriel Jett in front, 
Gabriel Jett in front, 128.01 of the 150. 15 meters to go for Jett. Hector Ruvalcaba Cruz in five, currently in second spot. But it will be Jett touching the wall. Final time for him winning heat number five is a 201.06. Hector Ruvalcaba Cruz at 201.67 second, and David Schmidt is third at 202.45. Heat six. Jack Dahlgren in front, 56-26. Second right now, Cooper Lucas and Dare Rose. In lane three is third. Trent and Julian right there as well in four. Trent and Julian split at 29.9 on the final 50. 157.60 winning time in heat number six. Second, Jack Dahlgren, 158.87. And third, Dari Rose, 201.42 out of lane three. Summary on the board now in the men's 200 butterfly. Your top seed will be Trent and Julian with that 157.60. Ahead of Jack Dahlgren, Yeziel Morales, Gabriel Jett, Jose Martinez, Daria Rose, and a tie for seventh, Cooper Lucas and Hector Rivalcaba Cruz at 201.67. Your B finalists led by Sterling Crane, Colby Mefford, David Schmidt, Harry Holmans, Vivi Civic, Victor Rosado, Evan Van Brocklin, and Isaac Flagg. At 204.41, C finalists led by Rick Meem, Colin Quickstead, Camel McKean, Carson Hamblin, Tyler Kopp, Jared Arroyo, Jed Michael Jones, and Joshan Masuko from Team Puerto Rico at 206.61. Your alternates are Max Hatcher and Nick Williams. Coaches, the time is 10.53. You have 30 minutes to declare in the men's 200 butterfly. Next event will be the women's 400 freestyle. There are five heats in this event. Heat one.
Paige Downey leading the way in our opening heat of the 400 freestyle. She splits a 210.55 at the halfway 200 meter mark. Nathalie Valdman is second. Paige Mitchell, third from three. Time there, 426-33. Paige Downey to win the first heat of the women's 400 freestyle. There are five total heats in this event. Heat two. We please have a coach representative from the Aggie Swim Club and the Alto Swim Club. Please report to the resolution desk. Coach, please, from the Aggie Swim Club and the Alto Swim Club, please, to the resolution desk.
Mia Motokaitis leads the way, 211.59. Her and Nicole Harvey have been trading back and forth on each 50 so far. Amelia Bodenstab into the lead now, 100 to go. 319.27 as she turns ahead of Motokaitis. Daniel Gleason in lane number eight is in third spot. Amelia Bodenstab will win the heat, 426-49. Her top time ahead of Rachel Love, finishing strong to finish second at 427-16. And third in the heat will be on the outside, Danielle Gleason in lane number eight, 427-23. Heat three. Alexa McDevitt leads the way ahead of Megan Lynch. They both turn at 102 sixes, 102.62 for McDevitt, and Lynch at 102.68. Third right now is Taylor Cabassi in lane number six from Utah, 103.35. Approaching the 200 meter wall, halfway point of this heat number three women's 400 freestyle. 
It's still Alexa McDevitt from the Bellevue Club in front. As she turns in 209.31, just 13 one-hundreds ahead of Megan Lynch. Good race in the middle of the pool. Alexa McDevitt in four. Megan Lynch in five. And Kristen Romano has moved up in the third spot. Yeah. Natalie Mannion back to third position. Caroline Riggs trying to move up in seven, splitting a 32-9 on that last 50. And Alexa McDevitt again will lead from start to finish to touch first in the heat, final time of 422.03. Megan Lynch is second, 422.60. And Natalie Madden will touch third, 422, 73 in the 400 freestyle. Heat four.
Kayla Hahn in lane number five. Jillian Cox is in four, and Julius Drozhnowska, excuse me, lane number six is going to be Aurora Roghair. Roguer keeping pace with our leaders as lane five turns to the lead. It is still Hahn at 311-20. Cox, the winner of the 1500 freestyle last night, currently second here in this heat. And Aurora Roguer leading the way in third position at 312 24 from lane six. All trying to post a time that'll get them in that top eight for tonight's final. This is heat number four of five. Final time in lane number four. Jillian Cox comes home to win the heat. 4-13-91 with a strong last 100. 30.86 on the final 50 for Cox. Second to Kayla Hahn at 4-14-85. And third, 4-16-62, Aurora Roguer. Third in the fifth, fourth heat of the women's 400 freestyle. Heat five. Bella Sims well in front already. The first 159.75, the split time. Sims was a gold medalist at the World Championships last summer as a member of Team USA on the 4x200 freestyle relay. Same relay, she picked up a silver medal at the Tokyo Olympic Games. Sims leads from four. Maddie Mintenko is currently in second spot from lane eight. Two hundred five twenty-five for Sims Mintenko at two hundred seven zero five, and Marlene Collar is third at two hundred seven fifty-one from lane five.
Sim still leads the way, splitting a 32 6 on the last 50 for a 3 10 9. nine. It's Mintenko still second from lane eight. Just over a second back of Sims. And a good race for third as well. Marlene Collar in five and Chloe Stepanek in six. Strong finish for Matty Matenko up in lane eight. Challenging Sims down to the wall. Top time will be Matty Matenko on the outside. 4.15.41 winning heat number five of the women's 400 freestyle. Bella Sims second, 4.15.57. And third, Abby Grottle, great last 50 as well. 4.17.50 in lane one. Summary now for the women's 400 freestyle. Your top seed will be Jillian Cox from Longhorn Aquatics ahead of Kayla Hahn, Maddie Mintenko, Bella Sims, Aurora Roguer, Abby Grottle, Marlene Collar, and Chloe Stepanek at 418.49. Your B finalists, Elise Cliff, Alexa McDivitt, Malia Roche, Megan Lynch, Natalie Mannion, Caroline Riggs, Kristen Romano, Taylor Cabassi. Your C finalists, Kayla Wilson, Paige Downey, Amelia Bodenstab, Rachel Love, Daniel Gleason, Mia Motokaitis, Molly Batchelor, and Noelle Harvey at 428.10. Your alternates are Beryl Bockler and Ava Tobolowski at 428.18. Coaches, the time is 11.20. You have 30 minutes to declare in the women's 400 freestyle. Next up, our men's 400 freestyle event. There will be seven total heats in this event. Heat one.
for the information of athletes competing in our time trial session. Due to the unseasonably cold weather we're experiencing this morning, we will be starting the time trials 20 minutes following the conclusion of this 400 freestyle, as opposed to the posted 30 minutes. Once again, the time trials will start 20 minutes after the conclusion of the men's 400 freestyle. Four oh three six zero. William Mulgrew winning heat number one of the 400 freestyle ahead of Devin Caples. Four oh three seventy seven and third. Gavin Webb in lane number five at four oh six sixty six. Heat two. Grand House leads the way at 127.64 at the 150 here in heat number two.
House continues to lead from lane two. Hugo Janvier in lane number six is in second spot. Grand House will touch the wall. Final time for him, a 405.57 in the 400 freestyle second. 409.60, Hugo Janvier of Keep Quebec. Touching in second and a 411.21 third for Arthur Schneider from lane three. Heat three. Mason Nybor, 159.07, leading the way from lane six of the halfway turn. Luke Brennan next to him in seven is second, followed by Beck Parnham in lane eight.
4009, Mason Nybor winning the heat number three. Second was Beck Farnham out of lane eight, and Luke Brennan third between them at 40304. Heat four. Graham Chitorio in front from lane three, currently in second is Timo Paisley in six, the two Mission Viejo and Adador teammates going head to head here in heat number four. Strong third 100 for Graham Chator as he pulls away from the field, turning there in a 258-81. Julian Rousseau is up to second spot from lane one. Good race behind our leaders here in this heat number four. Graham Chator of Mission Viejo in lane number three is gonna win heat four as we keep an eye on his final time. Touching the wall here, three, four, double O, zero, one for Graham Chator just off that four double O mark. In for second was Julian Rousseau at 402.06 and third 403.95, Gilliam Lord. From lane four. Yeah. 
Heat five. Field close together, approaching the halfway, 200 meter turn. With the lead at the halfway mark, it's gonna be lane number one on the outside, Quinton Sinorn at 159.75. Reach Aquatic Swim Club swimmer in one. In front of Raymond Hester in five, and Sebastian Gonzalez Barbosa is currently third from two. Both outside lanes gonna turn together. It's now a lead for William Mullen up in lane number eight who takes over the lead for the first time. 301.97, his split time. Ahead of Sinor by less than a tenth of a second. Strong finish from Quentin Sinor pulling away on this final 100. He will touch first out of lane number one. Final time of 4.01.59. Second on the other side in lane number eight, William Mullen, 4.03.51. And third of 4.03.77. Gabriel Machado in lane seven. Heat six.
Our penultimate heat in the 400 freestyle. There'll be one more to go after this. Alex Enyart leading the way. 125-19 as he's ahead of Kobe Carroza. And you're at 155.38, Carosa 155.74, and third in lane number eight, Andrew Mateka at 157.92. Winning time in lane four, Kobe Carosa at 354.54. Second, Alec Enyart at 356.52. And touching third on the outside lane number eight, Andrew Mateka, 357.23. Heat seven. Early leader in our final heat is going to be Daniel Lee in lane number two from Longhorn Aquatics, 56-17. Daniel Lee comes in, entered at 355-38. Marwan El Kamash in lane number four, the top entry into this event. He won the 1500 freestyle yesterday on day number one of the Tier Pro Swim Series here in Mission Viejo. El Kamash representing Egypt.
David Johnston now into the lead ahead of Daniel Light. El Kamash has moved up to third spot, winning 29-79 on that last 50. David Johnston in five, Marwan El Kamash in four. And you get Aslan in lane number three, currently the top three with less than 100 to go now in our final heat. Good race down to the final wall in heat number seven. And it's going to be a 356 1 0. Excuse me, 356 1 8 for David Johnston getting his hand on the wall first. Just ahead of Marwan El Kamash at 356 27. And a 358 27 third for Yid Aslan in lane three. Our summary now in the men's foreign freestyle, your top seed will be Kobe Carroza ahead of David Johnston, Marwan El Kamash, Alec Enyart, Andrew Mateka, Charlie Hawk, Yigit Aslan, and Sean Grishop. 358-43 to get back in the A final. B finalist, led by Graham Chator, Mason Nybor, Daniel Lai, Quinton Sinor, Julian Rousseau, Beck Parnum, Luke Brennan, and Dylan Porge Avila. Your C finalist, Christian Bio. William Mullen, William Mulgrew, Gabriel Machado, Devin Cables, Gilliam Lord, Max Hatcher, and Raymond Hesser. And your alternates are Victor Rosado and Grant House. Coaches, the time is 11.54. You have 30 minutes to declare in the immense 400 freestyle. We will begin our time trial session at 12.13. 12.13 will be the start of our time trial session. <laughs> 